We now have a special presentation from the Office of Congressman Mario diaz Balart on how to guard our children against Internet predators. And, um, Congressman, please, you have the floor. Thank you, uh, Mayor. Thank you very much, Mayor and members of the Council. Uh, I want to thank you for uh, allowing me to do this. Uh, uh, I've been hosting uh, several forums across, uh, across the community um, dealing with a very, frankly, tro troublesome issue, and I... Um, and I want to talk to you about that today. And I want to thank the members of this council, uh, the mayor, uh, for not only allowing me and us to do this today, but particularly for your interest in this issue uh, and for wanting to uh, to have this here today. And I want to thank all of you. This is not a fun subject. Subject. So, so I uh, I warn you ahead of time. It's not an issue that's going to be pleasant uh, to hear about. But it's a very important one. One that I feel um, uh, very strongly about as a father. Uh, I worry about the uh, the safety of, of my family, uh, even at home. Look, in the old days, Mayor, as you and I have talked, we imagined that child predators were these uh, people in trench coats outside of the schools or by the parks. Um, and we could warn our kids to stay away from strangers, to don't talk to strangers. But the reality is that now these predators have access to our children through not only the Internet, but through even some game consoles and even cell phones. They have access to our children's in our very homes. Uh, and it's, it's an issue that, uh, again, as I said, uh, really should scare all of us, and it scares me. Uh, and I feel that the strongest way to, uh, to protect our children, frankly, is for us as parents to be better informed. As you know, too often kids, and I know it probably happens to every single one of you, uh, kids usually know more about computers than we do how to deal with computers, they, they open them up, they move things around, and, and we have a hard time uh, keeping up. Uh, well, today this is a step in hopefully changing that, particularly when it comes to protecting our children from these very dangerous predators. I have, uh, uh, and again, I thank you, Mayor and, and the Commission, I have, I have brought uh, some incredible experts on this issue from the Miami-Dade Police Department. Uh, they're going to educate us on how to keep our kids, our children safe within our homes from these predators. And I can tell you that uh, th this police department and these gentlemen that will speak to you today are among the best at what they do in the entire country. And we're very blessed to have them serving us here. We're going to hear from Detective uh, Joe Cobalo. Uh, he is joined by Sergeant uh, Brian Rafke. Both of them are with the Sexual Crimes Bureau of the Miami-Dade Police Department. Detective uh, Caballo has been with the Miami-Dade Police Department for 18 years. He is currently part of the Internet Crimes Against Children Squad. And Sergeant Rathke has been a police officer with the Miami-Dade Police Department for 10 years. For the past five years, he has worked in criminal investigation unit as a detective and a sergeant, and he recently joined the Sexual Crimes Bureau. Our goal here today uh, is uh, that we all leave here today as better educated parents as to how we can best protect our children from these predators. Again, I want to thank the city of Homestead, um, the commission, the commission, the, the council, uh, the men and women, the mayor, who's uh, not only a great leader but a dear personal friend. Uh, thank you for allowing us to do this today. Thank all of you for listening. And I warn you, this is not a fun subject matter, but I hope that we leave here today, all of us, you and me, uh, with a little bit uh, more information as to how we can uh, keep our families safe. And with that, Mayor, if you will allow me to do, I would then uh, turn over the microphone to uh, Detective Jose Joe uh, Caballo. Uh, with the Miami-Dade Police Department. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do you need the screen um, brought down for PowerPoint? It's going to uh, TV. I think they have it set up on the uh, monitors. Thank you. Thank you for having me here today to uh, talk about this very special topic that is uh, affecting our kids and our children on the Internet. This presentation was put together by uh, the NetSmart Workshop and the Internet Crimes Against Children Task Forces Nationwide. NetSmart is an interactive educational uh, program put, developed by the uh, National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Hey there, my name is Clinton, and I'm a spokesperson for the NetSmart Workshop, a program with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. We educate, engage, and empower children to be safer online and in the real world. Every year, more and more children of all ages go online to learn, have fun, and communicate with the world. But just as the number of kids online has grown, so has the dangers they face. To strengthen our efforts, we have partnered with the Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force Program 
created to assist law enforcement agencies in protecting kids from people who use the internet to harm them. And now, we proudly present Internet Safety for Parents and Communities. To learn more, visit nextparts.org. And I'll see you online. As a reminder, this is a really good website for parents to allow your kids to go into because uh, there's a lot of interactive stuff that they could do here uh, to learn a lot of internet safety. A lot of stuff I'm talking about, you go online and see it on there. There's different areas for everybody in the community. The internet is an amazing tool that could bring a lot of information into your homes and into your uh, fingertips. Uh, but if you learn to navigate it properly, uh, we could accomplish a lot. Uh, these are obviously, as everyone knows, a lot of the things we could use the internet for. And kids on the internet, the internet is accessible from any location, your home, friends' homes, libraries, uh, coffee shops, it's everywhere. Even uh, Miami-Dade County now has uh, gone to uh, free wireless at some of the parts of developing a system now. I think they just came on board with two parts, and they're going to spread from there. Um, one of the things that I've, I've talked to uh, schools and educators, and they tell me that they block um, places like MySpace, which is a social networking site at the schools. I just recently sat down with a 13-year-old middle school girl, and she was telling me that they access uh, MySpace. She had an account, and they access that um, from their school library. And I sat down with her, and she showed me step-by-step step how they bypass the uh, system at the school's libraries to access their uh, MySpace accounts. I'm not going to tell you how she does it, because I have kids in the audience here now, but, <laughs> but they, they could do it, and she showed me how to do it. I, I knew the, the way to do it, but she showed me an even easier way to do it. Uh, and it's just amazing. These kids know a lot about, it, about the Internet, even more than we do. I learn a lot from kids all the time. We need to help our kids in navigating the, uh, the Internet. We just wouldn't set our kids out there in a big metropolitan area and just let them explore on their own. So what we do by just allowing them to go on the Internet by themselves, you're literally throwing them out there in a city because the Internet is a city. There's just a lot of bad places on the Internet that our kids could go into. And we always tell the parents to start a dialogue. One of the things I tell the parents is one, what better way to get some one-on-one -on -one time with your kids, then go on the internet together. Not only that, you're going to learn a lot about the internet. A lot of parents, the problems that I see is that they don't know about the internet. So the kids are on the internet and they tell them, yeah, I'm, I'm downloading music or I'm doing this or that. And they're on a chat room or they're downloading illegal stuff and just getting into all kinds of trouble. So the parents need to know what the kids are doing. They need to know the passwords to your kids' computers, they need to know their passwords to emails. You need to know all these things. You've got to ask your kids all these, all, these, all these things that you need to know.